everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Stamping with Tanya Badalka. Today I'm going to show you a Thinking Outside the Box card uh, for this month's paper pumpkin kit called Gifts Galore. Um, I'm going to be using the present boxes as a Thinking Outside the Box. So the first thing that I did was I, um, I'll show you kind of what we're doing and then we will make it. So the presents here, um, it's too big to fit on the card and uh, we only need a, a little bit of this. So what I did was I cut this off. So I have this present here and this one here. And these three pieces can be used for something else. So I basically am left with this little piece. And you can cut this out by hand or you can use a paper trimmer um, to trim away the one on the side. I used uh, my scissors to do that. So I am using a piece of card base which is in the Flirty Flamingo. And this is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter in the middle. And then I am using designer series paper that was from Celebration. I believe let me get it here so I'm using something from my stash and it's called penguin playmates and um, I'm using the the designer series paper in it that has a little trees and on the back are these little guys here so I wanted a piece of green DSP and this was the closest thing I had in my stash so you can use current stuff retired stuff stuff out of your stash throwback Thursday you can kind of do whatever you like since it's paper pumpkin, it doesn't always have to be current. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere my little trees to my card base just with the stamping seal. And um, I'm going to apply this directly to my card base. So also please like and subscribe to my channel so that you are aware when I post new videos and show you tidbits and stuff like that. So just lay that flat down on your card base. Now the presents, you can kind of place them wherever you like, but I wanted to use the circle from the kit and the Oh What Fun. And I have inked this up with the Real Red ink pad, which is the, one of the colors in the kit. So kind of decide where you're going to place this. And because it is kind of a big circle, it is... I don't want it to take up very much of this image. So another thing that you can do is I'm going to place the presents just to give it some lift with some dimensionals on the back. And I also place some dimensionals on the back of the greeting. Okay, so I'm going to peel those off and I think I'm going to put it towards the right bottom like that. And then the, oh what fun. And I'm going to place this like this to the left. And then I'm going to take some of the Baker's Twine and I'm going to use the old olive, I think this is. And I am going to tie a double bow. So I'm just going to double this up. I'm just gonna make this a little bit longer and I'm gonna cut this off. And then I'm gonna tie a cute little bow. and pull these so that they are the same length. I don't want my bow terribly big, but I want it to be have some substance to it and cut off my ends. And then I'm going to grab a glue dot. These are left over from another paper pumpkin kit. And I'm going to glue that down here and peel the backing of that off and place it down like, like that. So there, really quick, super easy, and using elements from this month's Paper Pumpkin Kit. And then if you wanted to, you could make little gift tags with these, punch a little hole in the corner, and add some Baker's Twine, and you can jazz this up a little bit. But I will show you how to do that. So stay tuned for more videos. Like I said, please like and subscribe. And uh, happy crafting and enjoy your day.